In the real world, we encounter complex visual scenes every day. However, our visual system has a limited capacity and cannot process all of the details in the scene. How do we formulate a quick impression of the scene? Let's take an example. If you stood at a BART station in San Francisco, you will encounter a crowd of people around you. As you take a brief glance at their faces, you are suddenly aware that the average face appears happy and the average clothing is orange and white. Instantly, you realize, oh, there's a baseball game in San Francisco tonight, and the Giants have won the game. How can you do this? There is an interesting visual phenomenon called ensemble coding, which enables us to analyze the average emotion in a crowd and the color of clothing in less than a second. Ensemble coding is an elegant solution to efficiently process redundant information in our visual field. Let's take another example. Sam is standing on a corner and sees a store display across the street. Sam wants to know if the store is selling tomatoes so he can make a spaghetti dinner tonight. He scans the store window. Immediately, his visual system calculates items inside the window, and they are an average circular shape, an average red color, and an average size, about the size of a baseball. By this brief glimpse, Sam has enough information to determine if the store is selling tomatoes, and he is one step closer to his delicious Italian dinner. In this case, ensemble coding helps Sam to quickly identify the target he is looking for. Ensemble coding averages the redundant information together, so our visual system can adapt faster with the environment. Here is the amazing part of ensemble coding. Ready? It appears to work automatically. When Sam was distracted by a group of mischievous dogs on the street, Sam can still determine if the store is selling tomatoes, even though his attention is clearly limited. Even some neurological patients with extremely impaired attention can still ensemble code. Isn't that amazing? Let's review. By using ensemble coding, our visual system can evaluate the statistical properties of simple features like shape, color, and size, and also process more complex objects such as faces. This allows us to evaluate our visual surroundings quickly and accurately. Here is the real mystery. What neural region is specifically associated with ensemble coding? How does ensemble coding work precisely inside of our brain? Nobody knows the answer yet, but our neuroscientists are moving closer to answering these fascinating questions. By having participants inside the laboratory view different types of stimuli, simple, complex, 2D or 3D, we can explore which areas in the visual processing stream can effectively ensemble code. Step by step, we are finding clues to solve the mysteries inside of our brain.